All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. And today we're going to be looking at the case that I've actually been honestly using on my device. Now, I usually go with a rugged style case or an outer box. Uh, but, you know, this case right here was a case that I actually got in a, a while back. And um, I used it for a little bit, but then I didn't. And actually, I really have grown to like this case. Uh, this is a leather case from Mujo. I guess that's how you pronounce the name, Mujo. Uh, but this case will run you 49 bucks. And my intent was to get the purple, uh, the deep purple case uh, from Apple. Uh, but I opted not to. I was like, you know, I have a leather case already. This is a $50 case. Not that it, the price matters, but uh, I just didn't want to you know, throw cash out there if I didn't want to. So I remember I actually bought the clear case. I got the rinky clear case with the frosted back on sale for like five or six bucks. And that case is actually pretty good. But ultimately I started to want more grip. Uh, and, uh, and that's when I started looking at the purple case for the iPhone 12, just to match the purple phone. Just that's all it was. But I started thinking about it. I was like, man, would I really want to wear a purple case full time? And I thought, mm, let's just go with something safe, which is a black case. Uh, and then I actually had this case uh, new in the box. Uh, so I put it on uh, and let's take it off real fast here so you can get a closer look at the interior. So on the inside here you'll see that there's a soft touch like a velvety material and then some some more branding down here uh, on the case. That's the way it looks uh, and then this is going to touch up against the back glass so that's pretty good. The power button here is a raised material like that and same as the volume rocker and then your vibrate switch is cut out and then the camera module here is cut out obviously well now the bottom of this case here it's got this type of cutout to make sure all ports can access it now, the case does work with wireless charging and i've been faithfully using this case on this device since i since i took off the rinky case and i used the rinky case for approximately a week or so straight and then i just kind of was like I, it was sliding around on some surfaces in my car and then on the table and then slid in my pocket I was like, man, it's time to buy a new case. And then I have a huge storage. So I looked, searched, and I had several cases for the iPhone 12 or 12 Pro. And this is the one that I chose to go with. Now, accessing the uh, vibrate mute switch isn't very hard at all. It's quick to get to, no problems whatsoever. Uh, power button, volume rocker, everything works really good. Yeah. And as you can see here on the front of the case here, You've got some lip protection, obviously. I do have a tempered glass on here too, and it's just a little cheap $3 tempered glass from Amazon, and it's case friendly, so this case will work pretty much with any tempered glass that you throw at it. And it does work with wireless charging. I actually use wireless charging at my desk, uh, believe it or not. I'm not a fan of wireless charging, but this case does work with wireless charging. Uh, you just pop it on and uh, it'll start up and start charging. As you can see there, there you go. So the, the, the case itself is a nice case. Um, I think you'll be happy with it. I wanted to give you some sort of follow up on here though, because um, you know, the, the phone itself is a slippery device and you just will need a case on it. I have other cases, there are clear cases. I just chose to use this one solely for the grip. And you know, I didn't want to buy an outer box this time. For some reason, I just stayed away from outer box this time around. I don't know why I was, not really wanting to buy an outer box. I just wanted to get that leather case from from Apple. Uh, and in doing so, I said, man, I really have to rethink this, spending 60 bucks on this thing. I'm not really sure. So, but this works just fine. And this brand is a tried and true brand. I've gotten a lot of cases from them for review and it, it feels great. They use premium leather. Uh, and uh, this is a matter of you want to spend and have an Apple logo on the back of yours or you want to just have a nice premium leather case. Now the case has been holding up well, no issues whatsoever. You can see the camera now is uh, deeply recessed inside of there now. It's good to go. You can't even see any kind of bump or anything. And again, everything just works. So uh, I can appreciate this leather case here. And, uh, and again, lay on the table design, it's just, it's just there. It looks good, it works good, it feels good. And this is what I choose to wear right now on the iPhone 12. Uh, so the phone is doing great, by the way. I've been using it straight through. Uh, no ifs, ands, or buts. I really like it. Um, not that I haven't used an iPhone 12 before, but I switched to the purple. That's all. And I got rid of my iPhone 12 Pro Max because of the size. Got, got, got kind of hung up on that size, and I just wanted something a little bit more pocketable. Even for me, even my big, massive hands, I still don't prefer a big phone all the time. And that iPhone 12 Pro Max was kind of heavy in my pocket. So, uh, you know, personal preference. I think this is a good case. 
on a good phone and I think if you decide to pick up a leather case search this brand on uh, Amazon and you'll see this case on there in different colors blue black brown uh, and green and they have it for $49.99 and if you search their website you'll maybe be able to find some some um, gift codes or something like that or maybe some more discounts so Shaman J I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one take care